Yeah, so I got done seeing Kong Skull Island and I enjoyed it better than Godzilla. So now let's get started with the review. It's big. Okay, so Kong Skull Island is just these explorers, these scientists and army men all go to this island to kind of map it out to see what's lurking on this island because it's uncharted. And, you know, people are curious and they want to do some stupid things and they go on this island and they find King Kong. There you go. And this movie stars like a few people. It stars Loki. It stars uh, Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel, if you will. It stars Nick Fury. It stars John Goodman. And just like every other movie, it has its good and its bad. So let me start off with the good first. Some of the things I liked about this movie was the style of it. Like when it first comes on and just how it's shot, how it looks. I'm not going to necessarily say the cinematography, but kind of, sort of, because it did look decent. It looked like, you know, it, it was it, it was kind of reminiscent somewhat of, have you ever seen that god-awful movie, Sucker Punch? It kind of reminded me of that, but just not as gorgeous as that movie looked. And that was the only thing good about that movie, but that's something else. But yeah, the style of it looked good. I liked it. At times it worked, at times it didn't. But we're in the goods now, but I did like the style. And the CG worked for the most part. I mean, I like the look of King Kong and how he was, which I don't know if he's a king yet. Because they just kept referring to him as Kong. So I guess, I don't know. But I just like the way the look of Kong, as well as the other creatures. It wasn't the best CG. It wasn't, they didn't look as good as Godzilla looked in that god awful 2014 Godzilla movie, but it looked good. As well as the fight scene, that was one of the big things I liked about it is that it had fight scene after fight scene. And I am constantly going related to the Godzilla movie because it's basically they're building up for King Kong versus Godzilla movie. And this movie just kind of saw the flaws of what Godzilla didn't have. And they have a plethora of action scenes and just fighting and all this chaos and craziness. Just a whole bunch of crazy action that's up in this movie. And I can really appreciate that. Then let me level with y'all. There is a lot of bad with this movie. This movie isn't perfect like any other movie. One of the things that you can expect that there is no character development. You have Tom Hiddleston who's playing basically, I guess you could say, the main character besides Kong himself. You really don't know too much about him. You know little things, but you don't really care for him really too much. As well as Brie Larson's character. You don't really care too much for her character. I mean, you get to know little things, but it's nothing. They don't take the time to develop the characters in here. So when the action starts and certain things happen and people die, it's like you really don't care. But like, yeah, the Peter Jackson uh, King Kong that came out some years ago. Yeah, it was a long ass movie and they took a lot of time to get to like the good stuff. But at the same time, they had character development from what I remember of that movie. And this movie, they just... They wanted to get to the action, and they did, which I appreciate, but they could have took a little bit more time to get into the characters. And one thing that I was kind of worried about going into this movie, and I said it on my podcast, is that I thought, I hope that it wasn't going to try to be really humorous. And that was one of the flaws that, that I took out of this movie. I heard a lot of people saying that the jokes didn't work, whatever. My whole thing about the humor was that it was out of place. You see this Godzilla movie, and they're happening in the same universe. But yet, Godzilla is just so freaking dark, and it's serious, and it's drama, and it takes itself serious. This one, it really don't. It's like it's a dumb action film. It's humor after humor after humor, and just the tone of it, it's not even dark. I mean, somewhat, but not really. And it just seemed really out of place for what they're trying to do. And it just, it really stood out to me. As well as a lot of the scenes were really choppy. It was like something that happened, but then it happened real quick. And then it, it just, you can tell just from like the beginning, how they get to the island, just in the middle of it. And then just at the end, certain parts of shopping, you can tell that they could have added a little bit more, which they didn't probably would have made the movie better. But I mean, we get what we get. As well as, like I said, the CG, I did enjoy it, but it was times where the CG was noticeably bad. Not 
Mortal Kombat Annihilation bad, but noticeably bad, as well as the green screen. Like, I really didn't feel like they were on the island. I felt like they were actually on a set. And when you're doing a movie like this, it shouldn't be that way. You should feel like this is a real place. Like, this is a place I don't want to go, or this is a place I want to go. But with this movie, you just really didn't feel like they were on an island. And that says a lot about their practical effects as well as the green screen and CG and everything they were doing with this. It was just, yeah, they could have did a little bit better with it. And with this, I thought that they were going to have a better array of monsters. I thought it was just going to be this monster, that monster, and just, just creative type monsters, which they kind of did, but kind of didn't. It just really kind of like went to King Kong and just the skull crawlers or whatever the heck. But I thought they were going to have more monsters, but they just didn't. So, I mean, I guess you could call that a nitpick, but I that's what I expected. But overall, I really enjoyed this movie. I feel like it could have been better. It could have been way better. But we get what we get. So, overall, I'm going to give this movie a 7 out of 10. It's worth your money. Just don't expect too much of it. Don't expect it to be just this all-out, good-ass film, all-around acting, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Because you're going to be sadly disappointed. Just go in there, eat your popcorn, and enjoy the action as much as you can. Because, you know, that's really all it has to offer. I'll say it's worth at least one ticket. Oh, yeah. And also, this is a connection to Godzilla. Like I said, there are they are going to do a Godzilla vs. King Kong movie. So, I'm warning you now. Do not leave the theater once the credits hit. Wait all the way until the end. There is an end credit scene, which is pretty awesome. So, yeah, that probably would have went into good, but, you know, whatever. And so, with that said, this includes my take one movie review of the movie Kong Skull Island. Go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications. That way, you will get notified for any video, podcast, movie review, whatever that drops on my channel. As well as check out my social medias down there in the description below. And everything else, all the links to my other movie reviews, podcasts, and everything else that I'm doing on my channel is down there in the description below. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.